Hey guys, so I wanted to make a really quick video on how I use castor oil as a hair mask. Obviously I use castor oil, I also use some vitamin E capsules and some extra virgin olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil does have um, you know, beneficial properties for your hair. It makes your hair shiny, it's really moisturizing, all that good stuff. But the main reason for using it in this mask is because the castor oil is so, so thick. It's highly viscous and it's really hard to apply onto your hair just by itself. So the olive oil really helps to kind of thin it out and just make it more manageable in a way. And of course, the two of them together have really good effects on your hair and makes it a lot softer and shinier. So I didn't take a video of this, but I also cut open two vitamin E capsules and squeeze them in and then mix it all together. And then I'm gonna heat up this mixture for about 10 to 20 seconds at most, depending on how much oil you have. And this is again just going to make the oil more manageable and easy to apply to your hair. So to apply it, I'm gonna be using um, the smallest amount at first and then I'll build it up. And you wanna start off on dry hair, or not start off, you wanna do this on dry hair. The key to applying castor oil is to only get it onto your roots and scalp. You absolutely do not wanna get this onto you like the shafts of your hair and down to the um, ends of your hair because again, the castor oil is so thick and trust me, it is an absolute pain to try to get out. I did that once the very first time I tried this and accidentally got it in through my hair and it was days I think before it was like finally out of my hair completely. So that was a pain. But um, yeah, you want to massage this really well. Um, you're opening up your follicles and really making the oil penetrate in. Castor oil is amazing for your hair. I'm not really sure why, all I know is that it works. It's worked for a ton of people. I have recommended it to all my friends and they say it works, I say it works, my parents say it works, so I really think everyone should try it. Plus, castor oil is super cheap. I do this about once a week and I've been doing it for a year and you can see that it has made my hair just absolutely beautiful. This was when my hair was longer and it was colored too and yet the castor oil really helped it maintain its shine and I didn't have as much fallout as I did prior to that. But yeah, I just apply this all throughout my roots and I really make sure that it has soaked into my scalp. This I keep in my hair for about at least minimum six hours and then sometimes I just keep it in overnight with a shower cap on top. I also go in and put a little bit more on what I consider problem spots. I feel like I have little bald spots for where my baby hairs are and I straighten them a lot. So I just try to focus this on there. Um, and even that, it really does over time make it grow, uh, make your hair grow better. But put a shower cap on or a towel, something that's gonna keep the heat in and wait it out. So after that, when it's time to wash it out, you'll see that the oil is so thick, my hair looks like Pippi Longstocking. It's so stiff. And the best way to get this out is by using shampoo on dry hair. I apply this the same exact way I massage that oil in. So I use a ton of shampoo and I really massage this into my scalp um, all over my head. And you don't wanna use oil because then that's going to take away this um, dissolving power that the shampoo is gonna have on the oil. So really rub that into your hair, into your scalp. Make sure that it dislodges the oil from your hair. And then once you're done doing that, this takes me about 15 minutes. I let it sit for like five minutes and then you can go ahead and shower and um, shampoo and condition like normal. When I shower, if you do this properly, you really don't have to you know, rinse, lather, repeat again and again. It should be fine in just one wash. That's what my hair looks like afterwards, and trust me over time, and I wanna say at least wait six months, you will notice such a big difference in hair growth. But before I leave, I also wanted to say I use castor oil for my under eyes as well as basically an eye cream, and this also works miracles. So castor oil is really moisturizing, and it helps to prevent wrinkles, and it helps with dark circles and fine lines and all that good stuff. So I apply the littlest bit and dab it underneath my eyes the same way you would with an eye cream. And then I also, at the end of it, apply it to my eyelashes, both lash lines as well, and I really rub it in. For me personally, castor oil doesn't affect my eyes, so even if a little bit gets in, it's okay. And I've heard that it's okay for your eyes to actually put it in there, but don't you know, count me to that. But it has really helped my eyelashes grow a lot too in the past year. So that is how I use castor oil and I really hope you like this video. Bye.